COBOL Check is an open source project to support fine grained unit testing for COBOL programs. This video is a general overview of COBOL Check for people who aren't sure what it is or what purpose it serves. I mentioned COBOL Check supports fine grained unit testing. Let's put some context around that to clarify what we think it means. This is a popular model of different levels of test automation. Some people call it a pyramid, and some call it a triangle. The key idea is that we need to test our software at multiple levels of abstraction. As we move higher in the diagram, we are testing larger pieces of software. Lower in the diagram, we are testing smaller pieces of software. The figure is wide at the bottom and narrow at the top to suggest that we want a large number of small test cases and a smaller number of big test cases. Why would we want that? Consider how difficult it is to test an entire application with all its external dependencies, environment configurations, and test data. To test every combination of inputs and operating conditions at this level would be very tedious and time-consuming. Organizations that do all their testing by running the full system often lack sufficient time to test thoroughly before each release. If we can push most of the test cases down a level, we find we can write more test cases with less effort so we can exercise each part of the code thoroughly. The test cases run in less time and each test failure is easier to diagnose and fix. Let's see an example using a hypothetical batch job stream. Here we have a job stream with three steps. If we do all our testing by running the entire job stream, then we must set up and execute all three steps for every minor change in initial conditions or input data, and possibly a large amount of output to determine the result of the test. Many real job streams have more steps than this and many more DD statements. Imagine how tedious it is to handle all batch testing by running whole job streams. Or maybe you don't have to imagine. We definitely need to do some of our testing at the level of whole systems, but what if we could push most of the test cases down one logical level? We want to test just program myprog without worrying about all the steps before and after. If we could isolate step two of this job, we could write many different test cases because each one is much simpler than a test of the whole job stream. Here's how our test job for step two might look. Notice the usual three parts of any example-based test case. Arrange, act, assert. First, we arrange the test case. That means establishing the preconditions for this particular example. Here we are creating a sequential dataset and a KSDS. We have also created some test files to use in this run. The file in file one in step do thing contains input data corresponding to one single test scenario. The files in step check that have the word expected in their names are files we prepared in advance containing the records we expect to find if myprog functions as expected. In the act step, which is step do thing in this job stream, we execute the program under test. In the assert step, which is named check, we compare the actual output files with the expected contents. Many batch jobs are more complicated than this example, and the arrange and assert steps in the test case may actually require several job steps. So there's still a certain amount of work involved to organize test cases in this way, but the net result is better than testing every possible scenario by running the whole job stream. You can see we don't need any special testing tools to do this. We can test individual job steps using system utilities and possibly some fairly simple scripts or programs, like the one named compare in step check. This is as fine-grained as we can go using the standard facilities of the system. COBOL check is meant to enable us to go one level smaller than this. We'll see how that works in a couple of minutes. First, let's consider another common testing need, CICS. This is a hypothetical application that involves several application programs and a number of CICS resources. This is a make-believe application, 
but if it were real, then program one would read from a temp storage queue to find out what to do next. It might pick up a record that represents a request for some action, or a record that reports the result of a previous action. We can assume it records the results of previous actions somewhere, not shown in this simplified diagram. When program one finds that an action has been requested, it goes through some business logic, it doesn't matter what, and links to program two at some point during that process. Then program one links to program three to instruct it to initiate the requested action. Program three issues a start command to initiate a transaction in a remote region. The transaction runs program four, which examines the contents of the container passed from program three and determines program five is the appropriate program to carry out the request. Program 5 does some work and then links to Program 6, which writes the result of the action to the temp storage queue. Let's say, in particular, we're interested in verifying that Program 3 behaves as expected given various input values passed from Program 1, and that Program 3 knows which transaction to start in which remote region. We don't really care about starting that transaction just now, nor do we really care about Program 1. We'll test those things as well, but for the moment, we're interested in program three. Okay, how can we test this today? Probably we would have to work in a live CICS environment that was configured to run the application, with datasets populated with the appropriate test data. We might have to run the whole path from program one and back around to program one again. We might have to spend the day in Expediter, stepping through the programs. It would be especially challenging to write a repeatable, executable test for all this. It might be possible to do that using additional testing tools, such as a service virtualization server and some sort of test runner. These additional components add to the complexity, time, effort, and cost of testing this application thoroughly. What if we could isolate Program 3 from the rest of the application and test it independently? What would it take to do that? Probably we would have to configure fake files, a fake temp storage queue, and a fake version of program 1 to issue the link command. That's not so much compared to configuring the entire application. It might be worth the effort, as we could then test program 3 much more thoroughly than we can do by testing the whole application, just as a practical matter. Now what if we wanted to gain similar advantages by pushing most of the test cases down to a lower level? where each test case could be simpler to set up, faster to run, better focused on specific parts of Program 3, and easier to understand. That's where COBOL check comes in. With COBOL check, we can exercise individual COBOL paragraphs in isolation from the rest of the program, and without any need to access any external resources, such as datasets or CICS facilities. COBOL is not designed to enable that sort of thing at runtime, so, how does COBOL check accomplish it? People write test cases using a domain-specific language, or DSL. The DSL is designed to look similar to COBOL source code, so it will be intuitive for COBOL programmers. COBOL check interprets these test cases and converts them into standard COBOL statements and merges them with the source of the program under test. This copy of the program under test, which contains test code, is then compiled and executed. The test code does not run the entire procedure division. Instead, it only calls the specific paragraphs that are mentioned in the test cases. Let's take a look at that. Here's a small program, file copy. It copies one sequential dataset to another. And here's a COBOL check test suite for file copy. This is how the test cases look. They have the same structure as test cases for any other example-based unit testing framework for any other programming language. Arrange, Act, Assert. These move statements are the Arrange step. Then the Perform is the Act step. This is how COBOL check exercises a single paragraph without running the whole program. The Arrange and Act statements are just plain COBOL. The Expect keyword is part of the COBOL check DSL. To be is also part of the DSL. This expresses an assertion. 
We expect field in field 1 in the input record area to contain the same value as field out field 1. Now let's see what happens when we run the tests. You can see that CobalCheck produces a test report that shows the name of each test case, whether it passed or failed, and if it failed, the expected and actual values are shown. This output is very similar to output produced by other testing tools for other languages. Now let's see what CobalCheck inserted into the program to enable the test cases to perform individual paragraphs. First, notice that CobalCheck inserted boilerplate testing code into the working storage section of the program. Programmers don't have to deal with the boilerplate code because they can write the test cases in a simpler language. You might also notice that the data division statements defining input and output record areas are now present in the working storage section. CobalCheck moved them from the file control paragraph of the input-output section. Why? because we are not going to open the files. ZOS allocates storage for those areas when the files are opened. Procedure division code must be able to access the record layouts. So we move them to working storage, whose storage is allocated when the program is loaded. Now let's look at the procedure division. CobalCheck inserted test code here as well. You can see the code that echoes the test suite and test case names. The COBOL statements to arrange the test case are visible here. Then there's a PERFORM statement to execute paragraph 5200 prepare output record. There's a little bit of code to manage the details of running a test case, and then paragraph UT check expectation is called. That is part of the COBOL check code inserted into the program under test. You can see that paragraph here. I'd also like to point out that the I.O. statements in the procedure division were commented out. This enables us to run the unit tests on any platform, not necessarily on the mainframe, because we have no dependency on data sets. This level of unit testing is concerned only with the program's logic and not with any external dependencies of the program. That's how CobalCheck works in a nutshell, and a little context around why it's useful to test at this level of detail. The project is on GitHub, and if you're interested, you can read more about it on the project wiki. There is general information about unit testing, help for people who want to use CobalCheck, and guidance for those who want to contribute to the project. It is, after all, an open source project. That's all for now. I hope this has been useful for you. If you want to know more, you can read the material on the wiki and check out the public discussion list. URLs are provided on the page where this video is hosted. See you in the trenches.